don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up. Greetings, redheads. Thank you for joining us in another episode of your favorite show, which is what? Raise me. <laughs> I'm your gracious host, J Red, joined by the most honorable, legendary DJ PM. What's happening, my brother? Hey, man, good to see you again. Always. As always, Pleasure as always. Here. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't already, it's important, hit the like button. Once you're watching this, please just hit that like button real quick for me. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash We Authentic Network. But make sure you hit the like button, please, right now. Hit the like button. All right, so, uh, man. Look at my shirt. You see the shirt? I see that. Hey, I see this. This is the official Ryu and Ken EP shirt. It is available on Redsview.com. Boom. Sean, show that real quick. Uh, the, the EP is available on all streaming platforms. Getting nothing but positive feedback. Once you hear it, let me know. Facts. Yeah, yeah. my bad about not listening to it yet, but uh, I'm, so, definitely, yeah. I'm definitely going to check it out. All good. All good. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it because we got a lot of heavy topics today. Okay. First thing I want to start it off is we just got word late last night uh -huh. that the legendary Brandy and the legendary Monica are both having a versus battle. That will be happening on August 31st, I yeah, believe. Yeah, 31st. 31st. Yeah. Uh, live from Tyler Perry Studios. Right. One thing I love about these Versus series now is that they're doing them together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, man, this is the, the Battle of the Titans. Correct. Clash of the Titans. Correct. Um, I don't, r and Titans, for R&B sure. Titans. Yeah. I don't think uh, this will be the most competitive Versus battle yet, in my opinion. When, well, when you say competitive, you mean musically, or you mean like just the just everything surrounding Brandy and versus Monica, right? From the '90s on out, ever mm. since they both came out, right? People compared them to each other because they were teenagers at the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. and no, they were holding it down. They were teenagers with sister soul voices, correct? Like, you know what I'm saying? Correct. Um, they were like this much. They were like this much under Brick. I mean, um, Whitney, Mariah, and all yeah, them. Yeah, you know vocally. what I'm saying? Vocally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and sure. they were dope artists. And they all they came out around the same time. They did a, a legendary collaboration with that boy's mind. Yeah, the boy's mind. Yeah. It was a lot of controversy. So was that, that real or was that fake? Like the beef between them. No, that beef that. was real. Okay, all right. Cool. Because if you ask one of them about it. They still will be right, awesome. right, 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 right. Yeah. Because that, that's what I was gonna say. Hadn't they been in like a cold war for like the last but, thirty years? But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like this. That's why I say it's the most competitive. I'm yeah. not saying it's gonna be the best battle. Right, right, right. The history behind these Correct. two. Yeah. This is it's damn near like Fifty Cent and Ja Rule. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean talking about yeah, how long. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of for sure. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I personally think Brandy's gonna win, but I mean that's totally in a, a biased opinion because she's from Mississippi. Oh, yeah. But yeah, she yeah. don't claim Mississippi, though. No, she don't, but we know where she's from. Macomb, Mississippi. Her and Ray J. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rick Ross. Yeah. Should I keep going? Uh, he's from Clarksdale. Clarksdale. Snoop yeah. is from Mississippi. He just opened up a wing stop at Clarksdale. He did. Yeah. Yeah. All his family live there. Yeah. They still live there? Yes. Oh, okay. Man, I know people who live by his ain't he now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know him from Mississippi. You're all right. He said now. Ain't he now. Right. Yeah. But I, my pick is Monica, personally. Okay. Uh, Monica, and I'm not saying it ain't finna be. Oh, it's battle. gonna be close. It's gonna be yeah, super yeah, close. Yeah. But when we're talking about verses, because right. a lot of people in my status was talking about whose vocal range is better and all that other stuff. <sighs> they still don't understand what a versus battle Listen, is. Listen, man, versus battle means ten or oh, it's two. I'm sorry, two uh, ten song battles. Right. Like, um, so basically, it's twenty songs. Twenty, 20 songs. songs. Now, one thing that somebody pointed out was about the hit factor. Like, okay. each of them probably don't have 20 hits. No, nah, each of them don't have 20 hits. Hits, per se, as far yeah. as Billboard. Correct, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, I, I don't think either one of them have 20 hits. I mean, I think Monica probably has more hits I, I because so. she had hits in 2010, 2015. And 2005. Brand, right, and Brandy ain't had a hit since, like, she had the one with Chris Brown. Yeah, Put but that down. was kind of forced. I though. think it so, wasn't, too. Like, and I'm a Brandy fan again. And a Chris Brown fan, but that's, I mean, that song was a hit, but it was, kind of, I, it was feel like, you, yeah, it was I like, know what you mean. Yeah, I know it was like manufactured. That's, it wasn't like, it, it wasn't like the brand correct, that we know. Correct. Monica correct. has put out everything that felt like Monica. Correct. In my opinion. Um, uh, she put out that Red album, which was dope. Her and Missy did some work together. Did mm -hmm. you hear Brandy's Ladies album? No, I, 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 like, I didn't even know she had an yeah. album. B7. Um, mm -hmm. That's out right now, available everywhere. It got a lot of flack. I liked it. Yeah, but, oh, uh, you heard it. yeah, I heard it and liked it. Yeah. Uh, some people didn't, but I mean, you know. Yeah, but I think that 
overall, it's going to be a great night. Yeah. But you know how they say, you know, they be like hip hop won the culture. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a battle. You think so? Yeah, it's already people. It's dog. This is So huge. you don't think it's going to be peaceful? No. Hell no. It's going to be some controversy right. surrounding this. You know how people feel like uh, how we felt when folks were saying DMX won over Snoop Dogg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. them say some shit now. Boy, yeah. everybody going to be because it's just so much history between yeah, these two. But for sure. I feel like to me... I like Monica's music better. Yeah. Um, it just, it hit different. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, you know I, I like Brandy's music better, personally. But I mean, you know. Monica got his, though. Yeah, but Brandy got his. Shit, no, Brandy got yeah. his. Brand, man, let me tell And then someone was like, the boy is mine. They're yeah. both going to win that Yeah, one. yeah, of course. Because I think they both going to play that at the same at time. At the same anyway, time. Yeah, yeah why just not? Just for a good, feel-good moment. And but it's going to be so many ladies 35 and up drinking wine listening to this. Man, I'm going to be drinking wine listening to this. I'm going to be in the comments flirting. I'm going cougar hunting. <laughs> cougar <laughs> I think I'm gonna go cougar hunting too. Yeah. <laughs> but nah man, um I'm really excited about Yeah, it. I am for for all jokes aside. Yeah, so uh the next thing I want to talk about, Nas. Okay. Nas dropped an incredible, incredible, incredible project. Nas still rap? Here we go. Nas <laughs> dropped an incredible project. Well, I mean, King's disease. I mean I, one question. Go ahead. How many times did he rap about his fade or the bevel blade? He didn't say nothing about the Bevel Blade. Okay, all right, cool. And uh, he did say something about his fade, but that was one time. Yeah, that was at the, I heard in the beginning. That too. Okay, that was the first say, song yeah. I made the fade famous. Yeah, famous and yeah, all that yeah, other stuff. Yeah. But man, what I can say, uh, this so King's Disease it is out um, available everywhere. Right, it's like 13, 14 songs. I, I I forgot exactly how much I heard the whole album, but entirely produced by Hit Boy. Yes, sir. Uh, you got Lil Durk on there. Yep. You got The Firm, uh -huh. uh, which is AZ. Uh, Foxy. Foxy. And then, Nate, not Nature, Cormega. Corm yeah. Uh, Nature was missing from that. Um, yeah, and then you got Big Sean on there. Yeah. Had a dope feature. D dope feature? Dope. Amazing. Man, you be hating on Big I'm Sean, just saying, man. man. But anyway, so this is my outlook on it. I think that this album is great. Okay. Uh, it's dope. Now, what I will say is that when I first heard it, I was thinking in the mind frame of this is a Hit Boy produced album. Right. So I, I, I was expecting more mainstream Niggas beats. in Paris type music. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't get that. And that's what kind of made it feel flat to me at first. Yeah. But then when I gave it a second listen and then I was able to take away, okay, let's take away that this is a Hit Boy produced right. album and think of it as a Nas album. Because right. it was funny because I'm like, out of all the beats, Nas still picked Nas sounding beats. So I know you're gonna get on that. So I was just like, uh, but when I heard the second go round, yeah, and just said, fuck it, I'm not gonna listen for Hit Boy and just hit here Nas. Oh, this is a dope album. Yeah. My favorite track that I cannot stop listening to. It's a couple of them, but my favorite one is Cardi Five. Okay. Cardi Five featuring Uncle Charlie Wilson. Man, that's that joint smooth. Smooth like a dude, like yeah, that I, joint smooth. Bruh. Like when I first heard it, I was uh I did I had like a uh I wanted to get a midnight snack, so I yeah. got some Reese's, but I uh, threw that on as I was riding the quick trip. Yeah. It was like midnight, and you that's a summer song that you could just roll your windows down. Yeah, to very nostalgic. To. Yeah, yeah, very. Yeah. Uh, because Charlie Wilson is so legendary. Oh, my man. gosh. So he don't legendary. get the credit he deserves. He don't, man. I don't care how much credit he get. He don't get the credit he nah. deserves. And he's still out there sounding <clears throat> great, dude. Man. You know what I'm saying? But that... Uh, uh, the big Tron the big Sean track was cool the yeah. second time I listened to it. Now the Anderson Pack song, yeah, I like the that song one. with Anderson Pack. Um, uh, I forgot exactly what it's called, but it, let me let me pull this up because yeah. I, I I gotta we gotta be Anderson straight. Pack, my dude. I, I like that song. Yeah, yeah so he, he real dope. So Cardi Five, mm -hmm. dope. Ultra Black, yep, love Ultra dope. Black. That's um, my favorite actually. That's your favorite? Yeah, that's dope. Twenty Seven Summers. Yeah, my God. Uh, Till the War is One with Lil Durk. Yeah, Dirk. that's the one with Lil Durk. That, yeah, to yeah, me, yeah. Combi uh, was a combination of the generations. Mm -hmm. It's like Nas spoke about what's happening in the world, and then Lil Durk, who's the better to represent a city full of crime like Chicago than Lil Durk? Lil Durk. And Lil <laughs> Durk, I'm going to get on him yeah. later. Um, then, Full Circle yeah. with The Firm. Yeah. Now, I ain't going to lie, Foxy sounded a little crazy. Well, you know she got a hearing she got problem, a hearing though, problem so, so I got be her. holding her bars against her. Yeah, but it yeah. was cool. It was just nostalgia. Yeah. Dr. Dre had a sneak-up verse at the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that? Yeah. Uh, I wonder who wrote it. Nah, sound like Nas. Yeah, did. Nah, Either that, yeah. AZ is still dope, yeah. still sharp, and all bad with Anderson Pack, like I said. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah, love it that It sounded record. like they were at, like, at a... Uh, a lounge yes. and had a, a bar. I mean, had a uh, band. Yeah, and they were just playing that. Yeah, I'm sure Anderson was playing the drums. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Ten points. Yeah, that was dope. Pretty. Yeah, man. The whole album, like I said, 
I give it definitely a four out of five. Okay. Um, it's not. I don't feel like it's. I can't call it a classic. Thing with Nas albums, you have to. You can't just rate them real quick. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like you really gotta sit and marinate. But from what I heard, especially the second time around, I feel like I would give it a four out of five. So you know, I'm not a Nas fan. Let's just throw that out there. That's only because he yeah. beat for Jay Z. No, it's not. It's because he's the one hot album every ten year average. Oh my god, and that's so lame. But anyway, nah, I really do like the album though. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Um, Hit Boy did his thing. I I like when um, people collab and they don't try to force it. Like, mm -hmm. and um, it seem it don't seem like this was forced. Like the Kanye album was when him and Nas. Yeah, did. yeah, 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 yeah. That made it me, just it just didn't mesh well. It didn't. Um, it made me go back and like you know what? With the, not to cut you off, but yeah. the Kanye album, I feel like that would have been better if they had more songs on it. Yeah. Because uh, I went back and listened to it, and me and Sean was talking about like, man, if this had a good five or six more songs, uh -huh. it would have gave you more of a balance. Right. When you put out seven track albums, if two of those are not good, then it's, it's not a good album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I, I really liked it. Like I said before, Ultra Black is my extra is my favorite. Yeah. Um, especially when he threw the shot at uh Doja Cat. Uh, Doja Cat. And she has a, a song it's called N called N, 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 N A S. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. think it's called Niggas Ain't Shit. Yeah. I think Let me so. tell you something, Doja Cat. If you're watching, okay. If this is a diss track towards Nas, don't do it to yourself. Please, don't. that's all I'm. You already black folks already turned and giving you the side eye and right. they messing with you. But if you go at a legend, he really didn't diss you like that. No, because you dissed yourself. You dissed yourself. Right. So please don't do it to yourself. Yeah, don't do it to but yourself. But yeah, so uh, I mean, I give it a four out of five. Four out of five. Yeah, I liked it. From DJ PM, yeah. he gives a Nas album a I four do out of five. Four out of five. Oh that's, man, I mean, it been. Ten years though since he dropped a good album, so that, I mean that's not true. One hot album every that's ten year average. True. What that's, was his last good one? His last good one, was uh, like Lost Tape, Tapes Two. No, Life and is then good. Life is Good. Life is Good came out before Lost Tapes Two. Yeah, and that was in two thousand and ten. No. No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> he, tr he trying it, y'all. Like, it, it. Like, it was like four years ago. You're right, God. <laughs> dog, he be trying. He said, I knew he was going to be like 05 or something. Yeah, like that. nah, it wasn't that long. Like nah, that. but uh, shout out to Nas. Yeah, man. shout out to Nas. Nah, I'm going to be jamming that for the rest of the summer. Yeah. Let's go to Pharrell and Jay Z. Okay. Pharrell and Jay Z dropped a track called Entrepreneur. Yes. Dope track, solid track. Yeah. I never want Jay Z to stop rapping. Even though I don't like, I criticize him what he did with the NFL. Yeah. I really do love. Jay Z verses. Right. Every time he does a verse, it feels like he gets more and more golden. Correct. He's better than ever Man. as a lyricist. I, in, in my opinion, I, I keep saying this, bro. It's crazy to think that a how does Jay like fifty five? No, no, no. He just fifty. No. Jay Z. No, he at least fifty. Doctor Dre ain't. Yeah, he probably like Doctor Dre older than him. Doctor yeah. Dre ain't number like fifty four. Okay, like however old he is, it's crazy to think that this young man's game. Mm -hmm. Is still being dominated by a man in his fifties, bro. 50s. He's still the best rapper out. Now he might not be your favorite rapper, mm -hmm. but Jay Z is still the best rapper out in his fifties. And his content, is bro. His and I'm gonna tell you the reason why he's still the best because he he. He's accepting his age. He's accepting his maturity. He's accepting his place in life. Can you imagine if Jay Z was still rapping about? Uh, lost 92 bricks and made it all yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be T.I. right now. Right, he would. And it'd be terrible. He'd be Jeezy right now. Yeah, it would. They can't, but Jeezy and T.I. can't buy a hit because they won't grow up their content. Even if they did, they, it wouldn't sound right, though. B because they fought it for so long. And besides T.I.'s Us or Else album, which was dope. But see, to Jay-Z's credit, his shit ain't never been solely just that. That's dope. true, too. Like, Jay-Z always has had content. Right. And it wasn't... Because my favorite Jay-Z songs ain't talking about bricks. Right, right, right. Shit, right, right, right. Yeah. So I, I love the song. I love the bars. You know, people, Yeah, I I hate to insult people, but you know, some people are so smart that they can't understand when something is being used as literal and when something is being used as a representation. Uh -huh. So, you know, Jay-Z has a bar in the song where he say for every, mm -hmm. what do he say? For every Gucci buy two football, for every designer buy two fubu. And people was like, oh, he had to wait to 2020 to rap about FUBU. He wasn't rapping about FUBU when FUBU was hot. Mm -hmm. First of all, you can look at this one or two ways. For one, when FUBU was hot, Jay-Z had Rockaway. Of course, he's not going to rap about his competition. I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer. Or you can look at FUBU being a representation of anything that's done by black people and say and support that, not FUBU literally. But people are so smart that I agree with you on that part. Yeah. The first part is kind of capped. No, bro. 
FUBU came out in like 92, bro. It wasn't popping in 92? Yeah, it wasn't popping, but I'm saying... When like, when was FUBU popping? FUBU popping was like mid... I said mid-90s all the way until... Man, like FUBU now. wasn't popping in no mid-90s. Yes, it was. So FUBU was popping when go you was back in elementary look, school. Go back and look. FUBU was popping when you was in FUBU, elementary school. Tommy Hilfiger, all that. FUBU was not popping. In New York, it was popping. Okay, that's New York. And FUBU that's what was you not see. popping. Go back and watch New and York. Just, and even if it was 92. Go back and watch New York. Even if New it was 92, under, Jay-Z didn't come out to 96. Jay-Z didn't come out to 96? Jay-Z didn't come out to 96, according to you. According to me? Yeah. yeah. Don't switch your logic now, because we got tape. We got tape. Jay-Z kept... Okay. I oh, did. Reasonable oh, doubt. Oh, oh. <laughs> exactly. You know you said that before, so don't do that. I'm getting okay. logic. But, I mean, but. Yeah, I be listening. Don't try that. Well, look, botanically, when did Jay Z come out? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey. Check this out, man. But the criticism, I get the criticism, but it really don't matter. At this it point. don't matter, man. At, and, at that's a, and that's another thing, man. Like Charlemagne says all the time before we move on, Charlemagne says all the time. He's glad people like Malcolm X, um, Dr. King aren't alive in this era because they would never be able to go from Malcolm Little to Malcolm X. That's true. That is Because we don't even allow people to grow. We don't. Yeah. Like Jay-Z, 52 years old. When FUBU was popping, he was in his 20s. Maybe he wasn't as enlightened as he is now. Yeah. I'm not as... I'm I, In my 20s, I wasn't as enlightened as I am now. I think that point, that the second point that you yeah. made is the most important yeah, one. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. But yeah. No, overall, that's a dope, a very dope song. It's I don't catchy. like the beat, though. You don't like the beat? I don't. I thought it was creative. I don't like the beat. Dang. I don't. Well. I, I like Jay-Z's bars, mm -hmm. but I wish they would. I wish somebody would take those bars and put them on another beat and then send it Have to you, me. Have uh, you saw the video? I haven't watched it yet. Is watch it dope? Watch the video. All right. yeah, definitely watch the video. Dope. Is it better um, than yeah. Cardi B and Meg Stein video? Speaking of Cardi B and Meg Stein. Because I love that video. Oh, yeah. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's dive into that. Okay. okay. So a couple of things that I want to address. Um, they had a, uh, uh, a WAP giveaway, right? And it was for empowerment because WAP went number one. Okay, which is dope. Yeah. WAP going number one. Congratulations to Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Congrats, ladies. Uh, but and Frank Ski because that's him on the sample. Oh, that's him on the yeah, sample. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but the whole thing with the whole empowerment thing, I think that that's, I, you know, like I, I, I that's something that I, I don't really. I don't support the fact that they're calling that empowerment. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got to know what real empowerment is. Because there's real I, empowerment out there. I, I just hate that female or... Sorry, I, some women don't like to be called female. That yeah. fem, woman empowerment has turned into sexuality. Sexual, yeah. I just don't like that. I don't like that. But I'm not a woman, so I'm not going to tell y'all y'all wrong. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, like, if you came to me and was like, yo, PM... I'm about to go fuck 20 bitches. Exactly. That wouldn't be That's empowerment, not empowerment to me. That's not I'd empowerment. be like, all right, my nigga, you might want to wrap it up. Because, listen, like, Ply is talking about how good he eat pussy. Yeah. Sweet pussy Saturdays. That's, like, not, That's empowerment not empowerment for me. But if you came to me and was like, hey, man, I just figured out how to franchise a Chick-fil-A. Let's go half on it. They, that yeah. would be empowerment, That's empowerment to me. If you came yeah. to me and was like, hey, man, I'm in school... You know, I'm about to get my doctorate. That's, that's empowerment. empowerment. If you start an after school program that's, where you can yeah. mentor boys, exactly. that's empowerment. That's empowerment. Be, I mean, I read take, twenty I read twenty books correct. about black history correct. or something that's like that. That's empowerment. Yeah. Now now don't get me wrong, I think women can do whatever the heck they want to with their bodies and they can talk about whatever they want. Yeah. But we gotta stop hiding it behind this mask of empowerment. That's like, what in yeah, my opinion, that's kind there's of, nothing powering about no. Bragging about you got a wet you got wet vagina, wet whatever. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, but I, I'm glad you got it. Yeah, but don't 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 see what don't, that thing feel like. Right, but, you know what I'm saying? But, but, hey, I like wet pussy just as much. I as just I love it. Actually, I don't think nobody loves it more than I. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. We, we, have, we might have to debate that. <laughs> Let's one, do a versus. <laughs> hey. Hey, I love it. Listen, but I like the song. I like the video. The song is dope. The video is dope. Shout out to my dog Colin uh, from Mississippi. He styled them. Okay. Um, I think uh, Jay Stay Ready from uh, Jackson State. I think he uh, he was he he did the hair. Yeah, yeah I want to say like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. think yeah, Colin put them in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, shout out to my Mississippi people. Yeah. But yeah, but like to say it's empowerment, in my opinion, is yeah, BS. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, so let's go into Megan. The thing I don't like what's going on with Mega right now is 
her controversy is is overcrowding her music. Correct. It's overshadowing her Correct. music. So it was revealed that Tory Lanez, she we already revealed. knew it. She, she revealed, revealed it. Yes. She came out and said Tory Lanez actually on her shot Instagram her. Live. On her Instagram Live. A couple of problems with that, right? Okay. Now, the thing is, people are, it did become a big deal because it happened. We were confused if they were dating. We just need to know details. Right. And it's not because we're trying to make up for her getting shot or justify it. It's just that this is a rap superstar. Correct. It's not like... Megan is the rap superstar. Megan is the rap not superstar. Not Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying, Megan is the hottest <laughs> rapper in the game right I now. I agree, actually. You know what I'm saying? So, her the and hottest, Lil Baby. Her but, and Lil Baby, yeah, yeah, but yeah. definitely Megan, yeah. overall. So, if she gets shot, her fans... The non-fans, supporters, right. whoever, they want to know what's going on. Absolutely. So you can't just say, hey, she got shot, but it don't matter what's going on. Like, no, we want to know. And it's not justified. If somebody came in and said that uh, you got killed. Right. I would be like, I want to get the motherfuckers to kill you. Facts. And I want justice. But what happened? Right. What led up to that? Right. So we got to get out the whole, it's nobody defending anybody. But the thing is, I think that the approach that she did, going out on her Instagram live instead of having her team... You know, say certain things, right. getting proper representation. She went on in her emotions, laid it flat out, which I understood where she was coming from. She said that, you know, four of them were riding in the car. They got into an argument. She tried to walk away and he shot her. Out the then, car. Out the car. Yeah, that's crazy. And then the police came and, you know, she got blood on her feet. So she tried to cover it up because she knew that he had a gun in the car. Right, right, right. So she called herself protecting him. Uh -huh. So all of their Which lives. She, in my opinion, she shouldn't have did. Yeah. Well, go ahead. But all of their lives wouldn't have, it would have been at stake. Right. She probably would have said something. Yeah, that's so, true too. So the whole thing is I get that. She was trying to ride and everything like that. But she let the public pressure her into coming out and saying something. But now, with her saying it and the way she delivered it, and this is the thing, she said something like, I'm from the, like, not the streets, but what did she say? Like, I, I'm, I'm from Southside Houston, I'm right, a right, real right. bitch, I'm a, all, all that street talk, but then she's on the internet saying what happened. Right. Now, the thing is, which is dumb in comparison, but people are calling her a snitch. Yeah. Comparing her to, to I hate saying it, did, did I have yeah, to say his name? No, nah, don't say his to, name. Comparing her to, to that dude to with that the dude, rainbow hair. Right, with the rainbow hair, the yeah. rat, right? Now, that's stupid in comparison, and I saw what you said about your stats, but I think that the reason why people are even saying something stupid like that is because of how she said it. She's right. like, I'm from, you know, I'm this. See, I, I didn't hear that part. Oh, you didn't hear yeah, it? Yeah, oh, uh -huh. okay, yeah. So, when you say that you real, and then you go on the internet and say, but this happened, that technically, if we're going by the streets, because if a male rapper did that, yeah. or a male did that, then they would say, oh, he's snitching. Well, my thing is, <clears throat> in my opinion, that's not snitching, okay? So mm -hmm. for me, snitching is me and you go rob a bank, okay? You get away, I get caught. And they come to me and they say, hey, man, we know it was two of y'all. We'll, we'll give you 10 years if you don't say nothing, but if you tell us who was with you, we'll give you five. Yeah, and then I snitching. say, oh, it was Jay Red." That's snitching. Yeah. If me and you in the car and you and get into an argument and you just decide to shoot me in my foot, <laughs> yeah. and I'll be like, oh, shit, that nigga shot me. And to me, that's not snitching. Especially, <clears throat> excuse me, especially if the person is not a street person. And I think that's kind of where the lines are getting blurred because yeah. it's like, is uh, Meg a street person or not? Mm -hmm. From my understanding, I'm not a Meg the Stallion fan don't i don't listen to her, her music right. uh -huh. i don't follow her image so all i know is the songs i play in the club and all i hear is sex talk right but if she raps about being about that life yeah fighting chicks and all that other stuff and being with the gang bangers and shooting and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. well then she did snitch yeah. but in my opinion from my understanding what i know she didn't snitch she should have told right when right that, then yeah in my opinion i yeah. understand protecting and everything but yeah. what what she's doing right now is causing gender divide gender yeah. divide and she put up the whole black i think i spoke about this yeah, already. black women like, they, the black yeah, women they protected yeah. and all that other stuff it causes just a whole bunch of gender Correct. divide and i think that she could have handled this situation a lot better now it but means, you also can't tell her i can't tell her how to handle, handle that yeah, but yeah, yeah. this is from my opinion yeah. on why because all she did now was create more controversy. i agree and, and let me say this before we move on mm -hmm. um because uh, I've been seeing this from a lot of ladies. Ladies, you have to stop saying that just because somebody is saying she is a snitch means they are justifying what happened to her. Those are two separate they are. things. Yeah. That they are two separate things. If again, if J Red slaps me right now 
and I go tell on him and somebody calls me a snitch, that is not... They are not justifying me getting snap, slapped. Mm -hmm. They're only justifying me snitching. That's it. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to stop putting the two together. I don't. I don't understand how they're doing yeah, that. Yeah, it's just all over. Like how? Place. How is? I don't understand the logic in that. So because I say she's a snitch, means I'm saying she deserves to get shot. I yeah, don't, I don't understand. It's, that. it's not the same thing. That's that's not the same it's thing. It's not the same thing. So yeah. let's move, let, let's talk about Tory Lanez because somebody okay. asked if his career is over. It's over it. I don't think so. Shh. Let me tell you why. We're in a First of all, anytime you're a popular artist, right. right, you're going to have some solid fan base. Of course. Even not even artists, but uh like a Umar Johnson. Okay. He, you know, he did done a lot of crazy shit, but it still be people that will go see him. Yeah, you're right. Out of all the crazy shit. You're right. You got a lot like Donald Trump. Donald Trump has a shitload of supporters, even though he does crazy shit. So the thing is, R. Kelly. Correct. R. Kelly got women right now that are protesting for him to get out. Bailing him out of prison. Bailing him out of prison. Yeah. Tory Lanez has a fan base, and he's still relevant. He does have a fan base. Now, if he, if Chris Brown can get out of the situation, and I know it's two different things for shooting and it everybody. It took years. It too, took though. years, but Tory Lanez, if he get the right people, like if he, if his team, say right now, just say for instance, if he said Megan put her hands on me, right? They're gonna be women and men are gonna be like, well. She sh and I'm saying it's ignorant, but man, they, she shouldn't have put his ha her hands on him. Well, I'm not even going to say it's ignorant because me personally, I wouldn't shoot a woman, but I'm also not 5'2", 110 pounds. And if he used that as an excuse, saying, yeah. hey, I was picked on about my height. I mean, I wouldn't shoot a woman, but I'm also not 5'2", 110 pounds. But we can't tell people how to react. That's, That's true. See, this is what I keep trying to get people to understand. Yeah. In my opinion, Tory Lanez was wrong. Let me say that. I agree. First and foremost. I agree, too. He should, he should not, not have done that. A gun shouldn't have been out here. Correct. But if Meg was putting her hands on him, she cannot tell him how to react. You cannot tell people how to react. That, that see, and that's the, because if, if, if somebody comes and slaps your mom. Right. Right. And then you go kill him. You, can, you I can't tell you how to react you're right. because everybody ain't gonna act the bro, same. Bro, you can't tell me, oh man, you took it too far. How, you can't tell me how to react, bro. Yeah, I can't tell you. You can't. So I, I can have my own opinion. Correct. About it, but but you can't tell me how to react. So that's what I'm saying. If he came out and just like said, "Look, y'all, I've been dealing with mental abuse right. or mental illness since I was." Because look at it. When those white supremacists shoot up shit, the the media right. will cover it and say, "Well, he had a bad childhood Correct. growing up and stuff like that," and they will get support. Right. Darren Wilson got um, over a million dollars after he killed Mike Brown. What I'm saying is, is that there's a lane, no pun intended, but there's a lane for Toy Lanes to be <laughs> See, able you to. Did. You know, that's so lame. <laughs> I'm so I'm so lame for that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, he, his career can survive. Yeah, he'll never be a superstar. No, no, no. He won't be a superstar. Yeah, yeah. But I think that he'll be okay because it's women that are defending. Yeah. Like if you look at it, it's not just men. Because no, nah, it's definitely they're trying women. to say it's black men versus black nah, women. But nah, I've bro. seen we ain't women. divided on this nonsense. Exactly. We divided on a lot of stuff, but not this. Not nonsense. this bullshit. Okay. Now let's go into some other controversy. Okay. Um. So. Let me see where I'm going to go. Akon. Akon. I want to give Akon a big thumbs down. Actually, I want to give Man. two thumbs down for supporting the snitch. Uh, Bro. It's just, I'm so tired of him. I don't want to give him too much time. Nah, man. Just, nah. Yeah, you could talk about it. So, all I'm going to say about it is, because I don't even want to talk about either one of them. I'm so disappointed in Akon. I thought he was a man of character and integrity, but he is not. Mm -hmm. All he cares about is money. money. He said that out his own mouth. Mm -hmm. And stay away from people like that because they will stab you in the back if the dollar amount is right. Exactly. That's all I got to say about that's that. That's all. And that's yeah, what we're going And do. watch the My Son and Akon uh, conversation. Did you watch that yet? I didn't watch it. It's that. like an hour and 30 minutes, but it's dope. My son is a man of integrity. I rock with my son. My son is My dope. son, if yeah. you ever in Atlanta, bro, let's link, bro. Let me buy you lunch, bro. I just want to talk. To you, cause you a man of character, bro. I, I I I fuck with your character. Yeah, and he got bars too. Yeah, 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 he does. Shout out to my son. Yeah. So let's talk about some other controversy, uh, cause there's a lot of controversy we're talking about. Correct. Today. Master P versus Monica. Monica oh yeah, that's Monica, crazy. Yeah, Monica was in two verses battle. Bro, that came from nowhere. It did. So this is the thing. C murder is um is looking pretty good that yeah. he will be able to get out of prison after serving this life sentence that he's been serving since right. officially two thousand and nine. Right. Even though he's been in jail before then. Right. He just got sentenced in two thousand nine. He got sentenced in two thousand nine. Yeah. 
So, he had already did like eight years yeah, ago before or something that. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, Kim Kardashian, uh, Monica has been in contact with C-Murder um, and been very uh, involved into getting her, him in contact with Kim Kardashian. Right. And Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian said that she is going to uh, look into getting C-Murder out of prison. Right. So with that, as big as she is and how focused she is, and like her track record of her and other black women because we have to salute them it's Absolutely. other black women that are helping her do it. getting uh this people. black lawyers that's doing the paperwork exactly that's not let's not we, just not just yeah. kim kardashian we do need kim kardashian celebrity though. yeah absolutely i, will say absolutely. That. I yeah. support what she's doing oh 100 so she's been getting uh black men and women out of jail right uh over some bullshit bullshit that they've right. done bullshit sentences so i think that c murder will be able to get out once she looks into it because of the evidence right right but people are side eyeing Master P as if Master P hasn't done shit for right. his his brother, uh, hadn't done shit for his family now, um, and they it just making him look bad like oh so Kim Kardashian get your brother out but you can't do it right when it, and Master P came out and spoke on it had like a little like an eight minute video Did talking he? about yeah he put it on Instagram yeah and um Mon- he called out Monica right and they had a little back and forth and it just. It hurt me because you know, I'm such a big No Limit fan. And I want to see. I just want to see Murder to be out of jail so bad because he didn't do the crime. Right. However, um, it's Master P feels like he's drained himself so much from trying to help his brother. And see, Murder he's saying has been ungrateful. Right. See, Murder has this records about Master P. Do we? Yeah. That, that came out. Um, you remember when Master P had grew his dreads out? And yeah, yeah. It was the ghetto Bill Gates yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. It was around that time because it's mm. it's a Rap City clip where Mad Links that was hosting at the time uh-huh. uh, was asking about the question. Master P was kind of mad. You can tell yeah. he was kind of antsy about the shit because he was just like, you know, despite what's going on with me and my family, I don't know why he said nothing or why he's put out in the public. That's family business, right? Hey, bro, I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And it just it's hurtful for Master P because he feels like. You know, C Murder's calling Monica his angel and Kim Kardashian his angel. He's right. like, well, but Big Mama did this for you, X, Y, Z. So it's just a lot of controversy. And Monica was just basically like, look, I've been in contact with uh, with C, C Murder and right. all this other stuff. And they, they had a back and forth. But Master P kind of cleared it up. Right. And he said that Monica basically just got involved with some family drama. Because C Murder had a post talking about, you know, my angels out there. I say that. that. But... You know, I've had to survive my family off of me writing books and mm-hmm. all this other, and it made it look like, damn, you got this mogul of a brother, but he ain't taking care of your family and all he that. He not shit. though. I mean, cause uh, did you see um, uh, his daughter, Master P's niece, came out and was like, "You don't do nothing for us. You don't do nothing for our family." Said their granddaddy yeah. house caught on fire, mm-hmm. and Master P let him live in that house like that, half burned half down, burnt down yeah, and all that. that. Thing is, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't get into people's family business. Yeah, either. I don't. Like, that's family business. And right. I just wish that they would keep that off the internet. Yeah, me too. But Master P was just like, damn. Yo. Like, you know, I feel him at the end of the day, but I, like, it just, it's. The, um, the, before we move on, the only thing I'm conflicted about is this, right? So when you are the millionaire in your family, mm. It don't matter how many times you say yes. The first time you say no, people are going to say, see, you don't do nothing for it. That's true. And that's so true. that's why, like, when conversations like this come out, I just mind my business. Because yeah. I'm like, man, you never know what the truth is. Yeah. Master P could have gave C. Murder $100,000 over the years. And then the one time he called Master P and Master P was like, nah, bro, you got to figure it out. Yeah, and I'm not coming down there. Right, right. C. Murder could have been like, real well, you, shit, don't come, you don't never come visit me. You don't look out for me. Yeah, because yeah. the real shit... Even though C Murder didn't do the crime, he right. still was around the wrong people. Right. Like, did you see the No Limit Chronicles? Uh uh-uh. uh. Dude, C Murder was had an apartment in the projects. <laughs> Why? Just to keep it real. Oh my god. And Master P is like the cut boys or whoever that you were hanging around, them niggas turned on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you because Magic, I mean not Magic, uh Mac. Yeah. The same thing kinda happened to Mac. He was like, I told my my artist, don't be performing at them little rinky dink ass mm-hmm. clubs. Stay out of trouble. Even he had to get mystical right. Man, I hate that Mac. Yeah, Man, you know that's my favorite. Uh, no, 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 yeah, him yeah. and mystical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but um, you know, he was just saying that the people that C Murder surrounded himself with, right, is kind of the reason why. Because I mean, keep name. in mind, he was committing crimes, yeah. doing dumb shit before. Because it's on footage of him shooting right. at somebody. Whatever, he didn't kill nobody though. But this particular crime, 
he did not commit. Right, right, right. And, you know, justice sh should be served. But like you said, I try to stay out of it. I'm just like, look, y'all, y'all can have these discrepancies with each other. Just keep the shit out there and off the internet. And please, I, I just want the positivity to be around C Murder getting out. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. So that's that. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Lil Dirt. Okay. Lil Dirt, um, the past like five features I've heard from him. He's been killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Killing like the Nas feature. The Nas feature. The Drake feature. The Drake, yeah, the Drake feature that's out right now. Yeah. Um, lyrically and delivery wise. It's yeah. like he killed Chance the Rapper. He was on Chance the Rapper's album with Nicki Minaj. Dope record. Dope. He got that song with uh is that Tiana Taylor you got a record with? Oh, I ain't on it. Dun, dun, back at it. I think so. That's rough sex. Rough sex. I can't think of the uh, how it go, but I think yeah. Yeah. I think that's Dirk and Hold on, because now I got to Yeah, know. you got to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, no, nah, but, um, man, just the, the past few songs, because I'm not a little Dirk fan. I'm becoming one. Yeah, me too. But, um, you know, at first, because when he came out, it was all that drill music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it, know? Was and it, it was cool, but now, like, I've been hearing why people fuck with him. Yeah. And that Nas feature just put it at the top. Yeah. Because Nas ain't going to just collaborate with anybody. Homebody, yeah. Homebody, it's Lil Dirk and uh, Tiana Taylor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That joint hard. Check it out when you get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's it, like a... Record for you and a lady, but it's dope. Though. It's dope. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Wale feature, he had a yeah. feature of Wale's out, man. Dirk. Dirk yeah, he doing young. his thing. Yo, shout out to my little cousin though, D. He been trying to put me on Dirk for like the last two years, no cap. But you, but you and know, I just been like, man, I ain't into that yeah. Chicago drill music. Yeah, man. all that. But yeah. Dirk, he be he be spitting. Yeah. So shout out to him. Shout out to Dirk, bro. Uh, now, hope you, hey, I hope he beat that case too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Cause that's here. Ain't yeah, that's in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up talking about the content of female rap. I wish I would have stayed on topic with that when we were talking about. You said female rappers. Yeah. Hey, real quick before you do that. Okay. You seen uh, Lizzo latest picture? No. Okay, check it out when you get a chance. Do I want to? I mean, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just talk about female rap <laughs> <laughs> because WAP has uh, caused a lot of controversy, and it's like you know the sexualization of yeah. the black woman and. Uh, the Rough Riders Chronicles shed a light on Eve's career. Uh -huh. Eve was the perfect balance, I feel like, right? Eve was sexy, but right. you can't name one time you've seen Eve in a thong uh, besides her actually being a stripper. Because that was a real right, stripper. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You know, but... Um, and she was a real stripper. She was a real stripper. But she didn't make music like that. Right. She made music maybe about sex a couple of times, but she was well balanced. So yeah. I wanted to tell people as far as the female rap right now... You're seeing the Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls. They're the main. They're just the main. Mulatto, shout out to Mulatto. Correct. Shout out to Mulatto. She's yeah, she dropped right the now. project well, too. Oh, she on fire. Yeah, right she now. on fire. Yeah. Uh, but that is. Those are like the main people right now. But with every Mulatto, you got a rap city. Mm -hmm. With every uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, you got an Eve. Right. With every um, Flo Millie, shout out to Flo Millie, Flo yeah. Bill, you got a Missy Elliott. Right. You it's got a Lizzo. You, you got, got a, yeah. You it's got it's, it's a balance. You got balances, but I think that now versus back then, you had more of a wide range of mainstream ladies in the forefront. Right. You had an Eve, Lil Kim, Trina, Missy, right. the Brat. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you had more of a range Luke now. Cam. Look, yeah, yeah. looking. But now, look at who you have now. It's like more. It's like it's mulatto, city girls, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. I don't even know if mulatto mainstream. Yeah, yet. not yet. Yeah, She's yeah. climbing, but I'm yeah. just saying, like as far as the. Well, I think at the end of the day, man, uh, the music business is a business, and sex sells. So Rhapsody is not going to get the budget that the city girls is going to get, no matter how much of a better rapper she is. Then. I don't even think it has to do with that. You what know you what got? I think, what I think you uh, she just don't make hit records. Right. Rap City don't make it because that's a part of the package. Yeah, for I feel sure. like that's the thing that's holding Crit back. For as sure. far as being, you don't have to be mainstream to have a hit record. No, man. you don't. Yeah, you don't. I agree. Yeah, Rhapsody does, it, but Rhapsody doesn't try to make hits either. She does. She just she's a dope female rapper. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but like I said, man, it's content out there. One great thing is that we're able to have our phones to be able to search who we want to listen to. Yep. And there are a lot of different female rappers besides the females that rap about wet ass pussy. Yep. So, yeah. But anyway. But don't let that stop you from rapping about it, baby. <laughs> but anyway. I'm here for it. Right. But I'm your gracious host, Jay Red. Again, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. And also, like I said earlier, get this uh, Ryu and Ken shirt. Very dope EP, nothing but rave reviews. That's available on all streaming platforms. Go to resview.com to get your shirt. And like I said, hit that like button. If you hadn't already, just hit the like button real quick for me. And then subscribe to youtube.com slash weauthenticnetwork. 
Uh, at T H E E D J P M. Uh, that's at the D J P M on all social media. Uh, and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, The B Great Group. All right, so boom. And um, I got an uh, opportunity to uh, do media yeah, for the that. Hip Hop Unleashed Showcase. Good. Yeah, 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 that was dope. dope. It was dope. Uh, the artists uh, looked like they had did a good job and everything like that. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Shout out to all my new followers and stuff from that. But uh, yeah, man, this is J Red, DJ PM, the legendary DJ PM, and we are signing out. Reggie, you, baby. Don't give up. You gon' be on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, give up, give up. I know you got doubts. 